everybody and welcome back to my <laughs> He always does this, this is why I vlog alone Hello. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Today is one of our favourite days of the year isn't it? We every year go to Dublin to do like our Christmas shopping and then on to Grafton Street to get Well I always get a white um, hot chocolate but I think I'm going to get a white chocolate mocha this year I am because I didn't know they even existed but we got coffees on the way and um, it's actually like the iciest day of the year I don't really know why we're making this journey but oh Jesus I can't get it back into the cup holder how do I want that going in at? what? I can't get it on oh, no. okay never mind sorry about that and then I got Andrew a flapjack they only had cranberry flapjacks they didn't have like um, yeah so there you go and then I got, I felt like being a little bit bowed, I got a, well I thought it was a rocky road, but it's um, it's a lot softer, it's like a brownie with white chocolate and marshmallows on it. And I can't wait to get stuck into it. So yeah, I think, were we going to go to Liffey Valley or Dundrum first? Oh. We haven't decided so I'll let you know obviously because I'm taking you along. Um, I've like a list of presents that I need to get still. Um, and so do you, don't you? Yeah, Andrew hasn't bought for anyone yet, so that'll be fun. And then, obviously, like I said, we're going to go into Grafton Street. I can't wait to see Brown Thomas's Christmas window and just have a little look around. So, come with us. First garage stop, Andrew informed me that this garage has Krispy Kremes, so of course I had to get one. But I don't know which one to get. I'll show you what the options are. You can go wrong with original, so I might get one of those. I'm not really bothered with that. Salted caramel could be nice. Caramel. It's perfect. What's that? Brownie butter. Um, might be too chocolatey. Looks like Olaf. We decided to be born and we just got two plain and then one. Can't open it. Lotus. It's like stuffed with lotus kind of filling, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's going to be nice. But anyway, I got these little tissues around them so you don't get all sticky fingers. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going because I haven't been here in ages, but I am going to try get to Boots um, to look for a few presents. I don't know why I'm trying to do this and walk to an escalator at the same time, but there you go. I just can't get over how lovely it is in here. Um, oh, actually no, I'm actually on the floor of Boots um, to look for some Christmas presents. They've got some lovely like, star gifts at the moment, so I'll see what I can find. My brother wants like, a specific kind of jumper. Not really sure how I'm going to go about that, but sure look. We'll do a rest. I have a secret Santa who I need to get something for as well. I haven't got a clue what I'm gonna get for him or her. Um okay, here's boots. I've actually seen this in the shops. Um it's meant to be the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Um I can't swatch it, but these obviously shades seems to be the most popular. Um it's only like 15 euro and I've not seen this like I said in stores, so I might have to pick that up. These revolution brushes are actually quite cute. They make a cute little stocking filler because they come in that like lovely like pink packaging. Um, and they're not that dear, like the dearest one is 1050. And that actually, that foundation brush looks like it's nice. It's like real dense, which you want to blend in your foundation. I spotted this in the hair oil, hair oil. It's like a satin sleep scrunchie. So I'm gonna pick that up, it's only like 650. I think it's really cute. It's actually the last one left because if not, I would have got it for like a few little presents. But I also saw this, you know, like the, heatless curls thing i've never tried it it's 13.50 but i might give it a go um because i've seen really good results on tiktok so if you've tried it let me know because i haven't actually got a clue but i think that's quite cute as well as a little stocking filler so boots didn't really have anything i wanted all i did was pick up that hair robin <laughs> um there was lovely gifts and stuff it just wasn't what i was looking for so i said i would pop into zara and about 12 things have caught my eye um let me show you this jacket how soft does that look like I'd say it feels like you're wearing an absolute cloud. It's like 90 euro, but I actually think that's quite cute. They're quite fab too. Look how like the heel is kind of like geometrical. I think that's quite cool. Can you actually call? Look at that. That is Christmas in a blazer. Now it's a little bit expensive, like, but I think you'd get a lot of wear of that. Look at this aviator jacket with teddy bear kind of lining it's really um molly may i think actually it's really really nice okay 99 100 euros not actually too bad they have it like in a different color as well it's like a khaki um back to front for some reason it's actually quite nice as well in that color look at what i've just spotted how cool is that for like your christmas party with like knee-high boots or heels i don't think it's too dear either yeah it's only 30 euro I might try that on actually. These I love. 
I'm absolutely exposing myself here, right? But for a good cause. You know, this skirt that I showed you, I picked it up. Um, that skirt and another skirt in size large, okay? And look, it won't even go over my hips. So this is your sign not to get down about sizes or things because this would have absolutely triggered the fuck out of me um, a few months ago, but it just... Like, we're not meant to fit into clothes. Clothes are meant to fit us. That's just your sign. I'm going to try on another skirt, even though I know it's not going to fit. But there's a lovely blazer in there that I might get, um, so I'll show you that in a second. But kind of raging because I really like this. It's a skirt. I didn't realise. Like, it's a pleated thing, but look. The large won't even zip up, like. And that's a large. I don't even think an XL in any of these would fit me. Is that just crazy? This is the blade, so this is actually XL because it's either M or XL and I knew M wouldn't fit. Um, I do quite like it. It's more khaki than it's coming up in this light. But again, I'm not crazy on a 50 euro like for that price. I might come back to it if I can't see anything else, but it's only like a 5 out of 10. Let's try H&M. Okay, so I'm leaving H&M because there's like nothing in here. I feel like... Are you want to go downstairs? Yeah. Have you sure? Yeah. I'll go with you if you want. No, I already know. All right, okay. Um, like everything's cropped like I know that's the fashion and stuff but it doesn't suit everybody so I don't really I don't know there's just not a lot in there I was kind of unimpressed but it could just be this store um, and I was saying there's going to be one in the shopping centre whichever one we go to so it might be better stocked maybe but overall Zara and H&M just kind of let me down a little bit I'm not going to lie the only thing I know won't let me down is my white chocolate mocha and my little chocolate that I'm going to pick this is like my favourite part ever. So we're in space and they sell like loads of beauty products basically that you can't get anywhere else. And this has been on my actual Christmas list for a little while now. It's the Hourglass Elephant palette and it's just, it's stunning. So I might need to see maybe I'll get that as a present. Um, it's just gorgeous. There's so many nice things in here. Um, what do I have as well from Hourglass? I don't know if they have it. Where is it? You know the lip balms that were like all over TikTok? Can't seem to find them. But they are gorgeous as well if you're looking for something to get for yourself or for yeah. someone else. Oh, here it is. The Phantom Gloss. They're meant to be gorgeous. I only have the shade Topaz, I think, but this one is slip and it was like the most popular and I really like it. I have Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty as well. I actually didn't get these when we were in New York earlier in the year and I kind of regretted it, so I think I might get some of the liquid blushes as well. And that'd be a really cute gift as well. And I've heard that the lip products are quite nice as well. That color looks like a bit of a... Yes, my favorite part of Christmas. Oh, how actually cute is that? I love it. I didn't get anything in space, by the way. They didn't have the shades that I wanted. So she said to come back maybe later. They might have it. Of course, this is the first place I would come to. Well, I spoke to the girl and I picked up this. They just don't have it here, so I can't swatch it for you. But this is the one I have on my eyes today. And then they have the contour ones that mine is running out. Um, these babies. And they like never have it in fair to medium. So I said I'd pick that up. And then I went for... Where's it now? Pink Gasm, which should be there somewhere, but I don't see it. Um, I just am obsessed with everything Charlotte Tilbury. If I could wear all of this on my face, I would. <laughs> I have on today, now this is two medium. I normally wear one, but the sample is gone, but it's actually so good for like that flawless under eye. If you're looking for a new powder and you want to spend a little bit of money, I'd get that one. I actually just noticed they have like an ordinary stand here, which I didn't know. I love this moisturizer, and this is the cleanser that I use, and I find it actually so, so good. And um, what else have I used? The hyaluronic acid, I used the niamicide, can't find it though to show you. Um, I really didn't know that they had this here, so that's actually really handy. That won't pass perfume either, and this is the new release from Prada, and it's actually stunning. I've smelled it before, and I think I might need to put that on my list as well. It's refillable. And it just smells so, so nice. Just waiting for Andrew to text me back to see where he is. So I just said I'd come into like the handbag and sunglasses section just to pretend that I can afford things in here. But nobody's going to know. How will they know? Um, had something to eat and that was actually gorgeous um, and now we are in Planet Beauty I just said I'd look because it's only like open a little while and they've got gorgeous bits Kylie Beauty I've never actually tried anything from them 
Dash Beauty, so cool to see those in stores. I've heard this gift set is actually quite nice. Um, I have the Rust and True Nude one, so that'd be a gorgeous little gift. I've heard this um, Liquid Silk is gorgeous as well. Oh, I didn't even know they had Vive. I've been dying to try these lip juice and like the lipsticks and everything. The packaging is just gorgeous on them. So I might have to pick up something there. Try as well. I picked up two brow scrubs, one for me and one for my friend. Best brow product actually ever. Holds are like mini products as well. Um, they've got like, um, you know, Too Faced stuff, Too Faced mascara, the Charlotte Tilbury, you know that squad. They can't open it now, but it's meant to be gorgeous. And they've just got loads of lovely little bits. If you're up around this way, definitely have a look because they've got cute little like gift sets as well. Okay, we're back on Grafton Street. I got my annual picture outside of Brown Thomas, and um, so that's probably on my Instagram by now. But um, we're on the way to get our white hot chocolate, and it's just so nice. Look, you probably won't see it now, but like when I'm breeding, it's actually cold. So it's just like adding to the Christmassy mood of things, and it's just I don't know, it's just so cute. It makes me like every year get into the Christmas mood. I don't feel like it's Christmas until I've come here and done this. Can I get a oat milk white chocolate milk at this? And we are in Dundrum. Um, this is parked outside of, or this is parked, this is like right outside where Andrew parked. So I'm gonna Google what a green feather means because they all have different meanings and I actually haven't found a feather in ages so I'm delighted. Might be a little Christmas, um, a little Christmas sign. I asked Andrew what he thought it meant and he said that someone just boxed the head off the Grinch. So he thinks he's very funny with his dad jokes. <laughs> Big bear. I want it. Kind of got like stuck in Brown Thomas there. We went in a different entrance we'd never been before. <laughs> and we were getting a bit nervous, like, because you know, you're in somewhere bougie, like where the sales clerks are wearing like suits and ties. We were like, jackets for like 750 euro. Not really our style, but uh, we eventually got out. We're safe now back in the land of the like high street kind of shops. <laughs> oh, right, say HM. Will we have a look in here? Decided not to do HM because I already looked and I just wasn't really feeling it. But I decided to look really quickly in Zara to see if there's any like better kind of basics in this one because it's a bigger store. But look at this dress. How like Sarah Jessica Parker is that dress from Sex in the City, like Carrie Bradshaw? I just think it's gorgeous for like a wedding or something if you had coming up. Really, really nice. This is actually that they had in the other shop. You can kind of see the color a little bit better here. Like it's like the khaki color. Um, I still don't think I'm gonna get it though because. I don't know, I'm just kind of annoyed at Zara for their sizing to be honest and I'm in a bit of a protest so unless I see something that I really really like or, or that's like a basic like the bodysuits that I know I wear Quite like, it's like 23 euros, so it's like a blue striped shirt like you can't really go wrong and the material feels quite nice I wanted it in the pink but they don't have it so I might get this one it's kind of redeemed itself a little bit in my eyes now okay I really like this shirt and then I found another one of these skirts and um, this is XL and this actually fits um, it's like a lot better fitting. It's like a skirt, um, but I don't know whether to get it or not. Like, will I actually be too paranoid to wear? Because it? it is like quite short, but I definitely like the shirts. So I think I'll pick it up for work, but I don't know. I like the skirt, but I don't know if I'd actually wear it or not. Zara was absolutely unnatural. Um, Andrew had to leave, and I just queued up because I wanted to get. I got a top for my sister, and I got that blue shirt for myself. I didn't get the skirt because. I just didn't think I'd be confident enough to wear it. It's really quite short. Um, and Andrew got a present for his brother and something for himself. So at least we made a start. Um, we're just, it's like eight o'clock at night now. Like we've been going literally all day and we're quite tired. So we're thinking we'll just hit pennies and then come at it another day. Like when we're a little bit more alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic. But we'll see what's in pennies and hit the road because like I said it is really icy and we don't want to leave it like too late yeah like so I just I'm I'm overheating in this dress and then you know when you try on clothes and stuff and you get even hotter so I'm dying and I love a slush puppy so I'm hoping I find one or something as close to it as I possibly can in the next like 10 minutes before I overheat I've actually been looking for these for ages these like glittery Christmas pants and they just happen to have it's a size 12 in the hanger but it's actually 16 so I think I'm gonna get them because my Christmas party is on Friday I'm gonna need to find something to go with it and um, so that is on the cards while we're in here I'm literally doing the quickest shop around pennies ever because like I said we are getting set up like that quite like that blaze it's almost like an olive green it's a bit darker in real life than it is under that light but um it's really nice Okay, so we left and um, Penny's, I was just dying and I couldn't really concentrate anymore and neither could Andrew. So we just said, feck it, we'll just go. Um, and we're just obviously stopped off to get some diesel on the way home. And I just said I'd finish it in the bathroom because I never finish off the ends of these vlogs. 
and then it prolongs me from putting up the video because I have to go home and like film an outro and then I can't just edit it and get it up as soon as possible so that is the plan for this video now that I have an outro. Just want to say thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I hope it kind of got you in the Christmassy mood because it definitely did that for me and I'm gonna go now because I don't want to leave you guys in this kind of toilet situation for too much longer but thank you so much for watching and um, if you liked it just leave a little thumbs up or leave a comment or please subscribe i'm on my like absolute mission to get to 100 followers so please be one of the 100 and enjoy my little youtube family and if you're watching this at christmas time happy christmas and if not i will see you in the next video bye guys